What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Boeing with the ticker symbol BA. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So it looks like Boeing was previously in a weak downtrend and I believe the trend for that, um, the downtrend looks like it has ended and that's why I'm bullish as of right now. You can see that this was the trend working lower we get a lot of touches on the lower side. We get a lot of touches on the upper side. So that's why I believe this channel to be in play. But then we had a breakout side of the channel, which shows signs of weakness. You can see that the price action tried to reach the lower side of the channel and it tried a few times, but failed. And that led to a breakout side of the channel. You can see that this 206 level was acting as support. Let me go and drag this up. And then that um, 227 level was acting as resistance. Let's go, let's go ahead and make this channel green. So you can see this range was the other pattern that looks like Boeing was respecting and no longer the downtrend channel. We had a breakout side of the downtrend channel. We had a breakout side of the range. And that usually leads to lower prices, uh, both for the downtrend and the range. So you can see that we went lower than the previous low for the downtrend, which is what you expect. And then price action found a bounce at this one. 87 level 188 level price action got rejected from the ema came back to test the breakout came back one more time and then we had a double bottom and this is where i was bullish on my last boeing video we had a pretty good run up but then eventually the bears caught up to the price and got rejected again at that 227 level so you can see that's heavy resistance as right now we sold off and then you can see that earnings came right at pretty much the previous support and it trapped in a lot of shorts. So we got a, a triple bottom. You can see that this was the first low right here. This was the second low and this was the third low. So this was a triple bottom for Boeing after a downtrend break. So that's a very bullish pattern, especially since it looks like most of the price bars are up over here. So that's a bullish bias. Um, so we had that triple bottom. And if I drag this trend, uh, this channel lower, you can see that it also fits pretty good. So normally when we get a breakout side of a range, it's usually the same size as it was. So you can see that this would be a leg right here. And then we had the breakout side of it. And that's pretty much right where we're starting to get those bounces. That triple bottom occurred right at that 185 level. So if I drag the range down bigger, because now it's a bigger range instead of previously it was smaller, you can see that this is the current pattern that Boeing is respecting. So we just came from the lower side of the range, just like we did over here, and that led to the upper side of the range. So that's where I'm expecting the prices to go as of right now. I think Boeing can reach the 227 level or the 228 level, especially since it looks like you can see that there was a strong down move, but now we're pretty much taking back all the profits for the shorts, and I think they're gonna come back right to the starting point, which is right here, because someone went short right here under this tail bar, they have their short entry right here. They had the stop loss up here and they're profiting right here. But then we bounce at support. So I think everyone's trying to get out before the price action comes back up to their break even or even stop them out. So this looks bullish to me. You can see that there was some little consolidation at the um, mid side of the range. So we could see a pullback here, but I'm still expecting higher prices because it looks like this measured move is also in play. You can see that this would be the first leg up for the price. And then we saw a little consolidation and then this would be the second leg up and it's right at the upper side of the range. So there's some confluence there and that um, makes me believe that we will see higher prices. That just gives me confidence in my analysis. Uh, we just bounce from the lower side. So we go to the upper side. We have a measured move that could reach the upper side of the channel. It looks like there's a gap over here. Not really a gap uh, physically. But you can see there was a massive drop very quickly. So that kind of has a lot of empty space for price action to come right back up here. And I think this time they probably want to break outside of this range. So I'm expecting uh, the buyers to stop out all the shorts up here. We have the st uh, stop losses stacked up. So I think we could um, even surpass the measure move to even reach the 235 level. 
So that's my analysis for Boeing on the daily chart. As of right now, I'm leaning a lot more towards the bullish side. I don't think uh, we're gonna be selling off as of right now. I think we're gonna continue to push up higher. There's more reasons why we should than not. So that's why I'm leaning more to this 230 level and possibly even the 235 level. Let me zoom out a little bit more. So eventually we will break outside of this green pattern that we're in right now, which is the range. And if we do get a break outside of this, then normally we make the same move that it was the size of, just like we did back here when this range was smaller. It was a smaller range. We had a break outside of it, right to the measured move, right to these triple bottom right here was a new support uh, because the market is dynamic. It's not like you keep your lines forever in the same spot. So uh, we moved that we adjusted with the price. We had the triple bottom. That's the new low of the range. It looks like the range that's got bigger. And now we're rushing back up to the upper side of the range. So when, eventually, when we do get a break outside the range, I think we're going to probably break out to the top side. And the top side target is right at the 266 level. Um, if we were to break out to the lower side, let's see where that would go. I, I'm Right now, I'm highly doubtful that we can break out to the bottom side, but it is possible. And if we do, we can reach the 148 level. But as of right now, I'm leaning more towards the bulls just because they're looks like they're in control of the market. And I think they want to continue to push the market up higher, especially since you can see the prevailing trend was up. And this kind of just looks like a flag. So it looks like we eventually we're going to break out with the prevailing trend, which is up. So that's what I think Boeing's going to do. And I think in the short term, we will reach this upper side of the range, which is at the 228 level. So that's the target I would be eyeing um for boeing unless something drastically changes uh but i think there's a strong possibility to reach these higher prices so that's everything i have on the daily chart let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart and here we have the weekly chart for boeing and you can see that the prevailing trend was up this was the channel that boeing was respecting but then we did get a break outside of this green channel because price action came a little short here with judge with which just shows signs of weakness in the uptrend and then we had a sell-off a very weak correction back down until prices found its footing and stabilized you can see that this was pretty much the channel working lower let's go ahead and make it yellow so this was the channel working lower we had a triple bottom or a triple test of kind of like this previous support right here or even this previous level right here Either way, at the 188 level, buyers were not letting the price drop any lower and people were buying this bounce up right here. And then now we're seeing a push up. So before you can see that this EMA wasn't letting prices get above it. If we did, it was very short lived and it knocked prices down very quickly. But I think this time with this triple bottom and this bullish action coming into the market, I think we might get above the EMA and stay above it. So that's my analysis for Boeing. One last thing, I think eventually we're going to continue even higher and possibly ev reach this breakout level that Boeing created back here in 2020. You can see you, you, this is a good level price action to retest because there's a lot of orders left over here and they, lo they love to test these breakouts. So even though we had a breakout side of this green channel, I expect a retest of the previous high, which is right at that. 270 level 278 level and we might even get that run up to test the previous breakout level which is right into the 300s so that's a possibility for boeing um anything can change until then but you know my short-term analysis on the daily chart i'm highly confident we can reach those targets and from there if we just continue to higher and higher and higher and you know then you then you would know why we're continuing higher and higher and we're probably going to knock out these targets also so that's all I have for Boeing. If we see any drastic drops or anything completely different from what I analyzed, then I'll give you guys an update. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.